Here I am at the Bonaean Sun Bear Conservation Centre, or the BSBCC. It's right next to the world-famous Orangutan Rehabilitation Centre here at Sepalot, Borneo. I've been fortunate enough to be granted for the first time access to behind the scenes here at BSBCC to really see the work that they're doing for the Bonaean Sun Bears. Sun bear is the least known bear in the world. Not many people have known about this bear exist. They are special in terms of their small size. They are the smallest of all the uh, eight living bear species. Uh, makes them very agile. They have a very long and sharp and strong claw that is special. They have a very strong and powerful jaw that is special. How many are left in the wild? We do not know. The truth is, we do not know. The study of sun bears all started back in 1998. So we do not know how many are there in the wild. But since they are forest dependent species, so by looking at the disappearance of their habitat, we know that this species is in trouble. The amount of forest reflects the amount of land or habitat available to the sun bears. This bear was sent to us by the Sabah Wildlife Department. Um, they do not grow well because they were kept in a small cage in long term. Behind me is the newly completed bear house. It's currently home to 18 sun bears, each going through the rehabilitation program. This state-of-the-art building is able to bring the rainforest inside to the bears. Once they've gone through this enrichment program, the bears can have their cages opened so they're able to enter the rainforest. For a bear like Amarco, he has no chance to be released into the wild. You know, he has been associated with human for food for a long, long time. And he do not fear human. And those individuals cannot be released into the wild. So what he will end up is, say, live in BSBCC for the rest of his life. Yeah, and then here we have our state-of-the-art forest enclosure and this is the best that we can give him. Sun bears are designed to roam a large area. Their home range from my study is average about 15 square kilometers and they can roam up to 4 kilometers in one day to find food. So the Red National Volunteers, they are under this volunteer program that we create called BAT, Bear Action Team. Yeah. So they have come in as a group to help us do small construction work. Like say for example, the, uh, the perimeter walkway, the trail, uh, the boardwalk for the perimeter walkway, those are built by the uh, Really, international volunteers, and and we are very lucky to have this forest enclosure that is uh, old growth for forest with big trees with multi canopy layer. You may expect for some bears it would be very easy to exist in this habitat, but for some of these bears, this is the first time that they will have experienced the jungle. Living in cages their entire lives, it can take months for these bears to take one step into the jungle. I've been here at the Bonaean Sun Bear Conservation Centre for just two days and in this time I've managed to see the spectacular work that they're doing here. It has been built and founded by volunteers from all over the world, nearly 800 in total. The work here has been not only impressive but vital to the quality of life of these sun bears.